Carlson, rookie kicker, will kick off for 16 years. We saw Mason Crosby for the changing of the guard there. Craig Reynolds is back to receive. Green Bay won the toss and deferred. And away we go from Lambeau Field, starting at the 25-yard line. Hanging in the pocket. Look out. It collapses. Taken down to the 26-yard line. Aiden Hutchinson. Boy, did he come alive last week. Of course, he was the number two overall pick in the draft back in 22. Watch him here. Yeah, usually beats you to the outside. Here they use a little twist, move him back to the inside, and he beats John Runyon, two Michigan guys going head-to-head. -head. Great coverage downfield to allow Hutchinson, who finished, as you said, strong last week with those two sacks, comes up with his third of the year. So Montgomery out, and now the rookie, Jameer Gibbs, comes in. Number 12 overall pick at Alabama. They love him. I mean, truly. And <laughs> A burst four, and you watch him play a lot in college, starting at Georgia Tech and then in Alabama. Third down and five for Detroit. Packers on top, 3-0, taking advantage of the interception. Goff retreats, fires over the middle, caught on the run, inside the 40-yard line, inside the 30, and that is Sam Laporta, a great-looking rookie tight end out of where else? Iowa, where they grow him. <laughs> No doubt. He, you get man-to-man -man because of the motion. Good indicator there for Goff. He knows who he wants to go to right away. And I think that's the difference. We're talking about how he's playing. I think second year in this Ben Johnson offense, especially on third downs, he gets a good idea of where he wants to go with the football and has answers. Not bad coverage at all by Douglas, but a great throw out in front. And the rookie tight end who had the big play last week gets the first down. 35 yards. Goff. Deep again, wide open, making the grab and taking it in is St. Brown. Amon Ross, St. Brown for 24 yards. So just like that, 35-24, Lambeau leap right into the arms of some Lion fans. And Detroit takes the lead. Jared Goff telling us the difference with him is not so much the turnovers, but how he responds to the turnovers. Look at the coverage right here by Green Bay. And look what happens, the coverage with Green Bay. Little slip, man-to-man, -man, goes down, an easy read. That was Douglas there who was locked up on St. Brown. But a really nice job there of responding. The state. Been a really good rookie season. Love, look out, and he gets swallowed up back at the 13-yard line. Isaiah Bugs roaring in to take him down. Isaiah Bugs is known for his power, but he's got some quicks to go with it. They max protect. They've got a couple tight ends that are in to try to help out, but he just bull rushes right through the middle of Royce Newman and Josh Myers in the interior. I'll tell you, I don't know how Love held on to that football with Bugs trying to knock that away from him. Boy, it's a young team, and, and they're going in a great direction. They're lucky to have golf there. Draw play on a second and 10, and a nice little... Burst here for a gain of seven by Jameer Gibbs. So they get third down and three. I think a lot of people are like, man, I'd want to play for that guy. And that kind of approach. Wanted to bite off your kneecaps in the <laughs> opening press conference. Pass caught on the run. Josh Reynolds to the 30 and a little bit beyond. So Reynolds, first four years as a Ram, so he and Goff. Bosom buddies, your 23-yard game. Yeah, great chemistry. I, I think right here is what he's looking at. Savage trying to almost bait Goff into a throw where he jumps St. Brown late, and then it opens up that next level to Reynolds. So a really good read and feel there, getting the ball to his guy at that second level. Goff, he's going to pack it in, and he will go inside the five. And tackled at the three by Rudy Ford, who had the interception earlier. So Goff on the run for a gain of 12. I asked Goff, I said, they'll play a lot of zone, but you get in the red zone. What are you going to do at that point? He said, they're going to play a lot more man. Look at the linebackers, Walker, clear out. This is Goff, who does not run. He's not a threat at all. But again, great job of seeing that open up right away. So instead of waiting, because nobody accounted for him in man coverage, he just took off and got a first down inside the five. Second and goal. Big hole, left side, in for the touchdown. David Montgomery. 
for the Detroit Lions that time with Taylor Decker. He was questionable coming into the game whether he would play or not. Leading the way, eight plays, 55 yards in a little over four minutes. Watch him get his body turned on the edge here. And then you see that fast motion that everybody in the league is using, that turbo motion with the tight end who uses his speed then to be able to get a kickout block with Laporta and Brock Wright and a nice job and another nice drive by this Detroit Lion offense. So Detroit now will start from the 25-yard line. Already their fourth drive. Two have culminated in touchdowns. Short drop. Throw is one-handed, and that is Josh Reynolds. Pulling it in, so that connection that started with the Rams seven years ago, continuing in Detroit. Remember, Jair Alexander out of this game, so you got some backup corners. Eric Stokes hasn't played all year, so you're working on some backups. Not bad coverage, but he never locates the football. Go back to what Al said, the relationship with Goff and Reynolds going back to their Rams days. He's got built-in natural chemistry. That time he puts it out there, and somehow Josh Reynolds comes down with that football. Little razzle dazzle. Raymond, tons of room. Khalif Raymond down the sideline. He goes deep into Green Bay territory. Rudy Ford finally knocks him down. And they'll spot the ball inside the 10 yard line. Gibbs helping to lead the way. 40, 40 yards on that play. 194 yards already for Detroit. And nine for Green Bay. To the backside of that Green Bay defense. Out of position. Yeah, miss. 17 3. A lot better than 21 to 3 at this point. Keep it a two possession lead. Rodney Patterson bangs that one through with ease. Play action. Tip picked. 26 yard line. Jerry Jacobs inside the 10. He gets down to the six yard line. Tipped that time by Alex Anzalone, the linebacker. Man, a lot of Lions fans here tonight. You can hear them. Well, this is a heck of a job. Anzalone here and the linebackers. Watch the backers come down against the run and then retreat. Watch how fast they get downhill. They see play action. And right there, he gets his hand on the football to allow that interception to come to fruition there by Jerry Jacobs. So a really good job by Anzalone, the leader of this defense, the vocal leader with his read key there, getting back in that throwing lane of Jordan Love. They go fast, they go no huddle. Trying to keep that St. Packer defense out there, second down and goal. Keep it on the ground, through the middle. There he goes again, Montgomery for six. Second touchdown tonight for Montgomery and a big hole for the second consecutive week built by the Green Bay Packers. Look at the hole right here. Look at this gap. Makes it pretty easy for this offensive line to work a double team there and just kind of kick out. Looks like Justin Hollins there. They just kick out. Second and five. Love tosses back. No, nothing happening there. Great defensively. Cam Sutton comes up to spill him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and seven. But, but I think it really starts out with this defense. Watch the flow and the speed of this defense and watch how they string out. Not surprised at all by this option. Look at that defense. Branch right there takes the quarterback, and there's nowhere to go after this pitch. That's disciplined defense there for Aaron Glenn, the defensive coordinator, and flying to the football by the Lions. Packers can't get out of their own way. So Glenn there on the sideline. Love hanging in. And that's batted away and incomplete. Then for Watson and Brian Branch is there. And uh, you don't hear a lot of boos at Lambeau, but plenty of them right now. Brad Holmes, Chris Spielman, I know also helps. They, they put their minds together with with his entire staff with Dan Campbell and came up with four guys that are impact players and making a difference in this Lions team. Goff throws, complete. 
and that's St. Brown picking up enough for the first down as he angles to his left. 11 yard gain. Jack Fox, who normally booms, and this one's shorter than normal for him, but it takes a nice little bounce for him, and then it's juggled, and then can the Packers save it or not as it's a scramble inside the eight yard line? And they're able to recover it after Jaden Reed couldn't handle it. Here it is again. Try to pick wow. it up on two hops. Oh boy, everybody. Yeah, they got away with it. <laughs> they, just, they got Oof. very, very fortunate. It's a rookie back there trying to make a play, and then he starts to hurry. Very fortunate. Looked like Keandre Thomas ended up getting on top of that football. 43 green. Somehow the ball came back to him. Boy, that could have been a kill shot. Oh, yeah. Play action. Chase in the end zone. Love left handed throws it to avoid the safety. And Luke Musgrave makes it. Makes the grab. Aiden Hutchinson that time almost picked up two points. I can't believe this. I saw Drake May last week, a right-handed quarterback who's going to be one of the first picks next year in the draft, throw a left-handed touchdown as a right-hander. And now within the same week, we got Jordan Love just trying to avoid the safety because of Hutchison, who's relentless, just gets rid of it. Team. Dylan stopped in his tracks. Ali McNeil, number 54. He, he drops some weight because he wanted to be a lot quicker. See this movement shooting the gap. Watch the right guard, 76, Runyon, polling. And 85 doesn't even have a chance, Kraft, to make the block because of how sudden and quick McNeil gets off the ball. So that commitment that McNeil made to losing weight, really more about being a pass rusher. What a difference he is getting vertical and getting upfield, making a great play against the run. Pistol this time. Love pressure. Down he goes at the seven. Aline McNeil again, back to back big plays for him. Third and 22. Against Royce Newman, who is in there for Jenkins. We just talked about how he dropped weight to be a, become a better pass rusher. Made a great play against the run. Comes back the very next play. Fights through Newman. Ends up working through the left tackle, Walker. Of course, he's added his own style to that. Second and six. Caught, fighting his way, but can't get to that line to gain. Sam Laporta just a little bit short. Third down, Quay Walker made the tackle. Third and a yard. Montgomery got it. And a few more to the 40. Ticking down to four minutes. Hollins makes the stop first down. The, the reason this Lions team, forget about tonight, I'm talking this year. The reason they're real is because of this offensive line, and I think the addition of David Montgomery and Shamir Gibbs in that backfield to go along with Goff and what he has to work with on the outside. This is a real team. Gary got to him late. Gary had three sacks last week. Coming back from an ACL mid-year last year. Goff fires. That's caught. And dancing his way for a first down. And more. Amon Ross St. Brown broke away from Darnell Savage, and that nets him the first down on the gain of 14. Now they brought the linebacker this time. They showed pressure by Quay Walker, seven, that ended up bringing Wilson. And any time you can get St. Brown matched up underneath, he's going to win. This time that he sensed that blitz. Walker moved to the outside. The throw went back to the inside, and St. Brown makes a lot of his living there in the middle along with the big tight end, Laporta. Go five wide on this set. Goff avoids that sack. Fires, reaching up, pulling it in. Laporta, Ooh, man, Walker covers. So Goff does the escape job, throws against the grain, gets his man, first again, down. Again, Alan, Goff is not a, a dual threat guy, but he's athletic enough to get away from this. 
and keep his eyes downfield, and the tight end this time works to find that opening. Really good job of helping the quarterback. He's running his route. He looks back and sees it. Now he just looks for grass. Where can I get open? Gets away from the linebacker, Walker, and great recognition again by Goff to locate him. Two minutes to halftime. First down here from the 35-yard line. Through the middle, another big run. First down, gain of 12, David Montgomery. 14 carries, 52 yards, two touchdowns tonight for him. Again, watch the offensive line and the blocking angles. Look how they move people off the line of scrimmage and open up these holes. You throw in the tight ends with Laporte and Brock Wright working from side to side, a lot of times in motion. Again, Ben Johnson designing plays to give this offensive line to work those angles and to be able to get these backs to that second level running downhill. Riley Patterson came over in a trade with the Jaguars, and that kick is good just inside the left upright with 34 ticks. Got a couple of timeouts, not using them here. Look out, Love out of trouble for the moment. And then you got John Kaminsky burying him as he just throws it away. Third down and five. Kaminsky says, let me get in on the act. It's not just about Aiden Hutchinson and McNeil. See, again, they move Hutchison to the inside there over the left guard, but it's the other side, a good effort with Kaminsky showing strength and then finishing on that play. Final play of the half, barring the defensive foul. Love. Well, forget about it. He's going to get sacked. Going to take more yardage off their total. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. The sound you don't hear here. It's hard to throw a Hail Mary when you need a little bit of time, and Harris goes right by Rasheed Walker. Look at Hutchison, the energy he brings to this defense. 27-3, Detroit at the break. Porta was still 30 minutes of action to go. He's already caught more passes than any tight end through four games in history. Incredible that Dan Campbell and his defensive players after their first two weeks had the one sack and answered a lot of questions from their local media. What's wrong? Getting pressure, why can't you come up with a sack? It's seven last week and then four here in this first half. Nixon. A yard into the end zone. Flag is thrown. So a good run back, but you know what that normally means and all the Lions, of course, are pointing in a uh, westerly direction. Play there. Went right, right at him. Backpedaling, flag thrown, off balance. Jones will go nowhere and pay the price as well. He saw the flag come in. Could be Walker with a hold. It's Rasheed Walker. He is having a rough night against his pass rush. I mean, they're trying to set up a screen. Holding number 63 offense. The penalty is declined. It's third down. He's got Charles Harris. You know, usually it's Hutchinson who's getting in there quickly, but this time it's it's Harris, 53, good inside move, and really only thing that that Her that Walker could do is just grab on to him. And Walker taking the spot normally occupied by David Bakhtiari, who's missed so many games over the last to the A team. Penalties have helped as well. Off play action, time, sidearm throw, juggled, caught. But nothing doing there. Tucker Crab makes the catch. And then it'll be second and 11 after a loss of one. Will Harrison in on the tackle for Detroit. It's one of those, you've got to change your arm angle to get it around the pressure. Green Bay now from the 30 yard line. Ooh, baby, that's a live ball and goes out of bounds. Tracy Walker. Team flying in, coming up a big game last week. Rolling on the field, it's a backward pass. Check it out. It's definitely a backwards pass, just trying trying to throw it to Dobbs, but Detroit all over that. And, and, and it's almost one of those plays where you wonder if he's thinking about the possibility of Dobbs throwing it back. But look at the penetration. I mean, Love was lucky to get that ball off because of Tracy Walker in his face. Yardage 80 to 9 for Green Bay, the re reverse of the first half. Meanwhile, they do pick up the first down. Only needed a couple, and that's Gibbs making the catch along the sideline, tackled by Walker, moving the sticks. Yeah, they move him in motion 
thought they, they might have a defender go with him, but because the corner doesn't run with him, they know that it's going to be a little bit softer in coverage. See the movement there, then he goes back out. A linebacker has a long way to go. So good pre-snap recognition by Goff with the motion. Gets him back out there to the flat, and there's no way Walker can stop him from picking up the yards. Montgomery chewing up ground yardage and you know at this point plenty of time left in the game yep. but you might as well take as much time off the clock as you can Jones is the back Love's going to keep it can he get in he is short John Kaminsky saves it keeps it at two possessions eight seconds into the fourth it's 27 17 meanwhile as we take a look yeah. at Love's I thought he had the Ooh. corner. I thought he had a corner, but he reaches. He's short. His knee's down. He's down, right. It's a heck of a job fighting through that block to make that play. Pretty clear there. Knee goes first. Stop he's, it he's there. Down there. He's down there. Yeah. He's down pretty clearly. That's a great play. Little flip. Out in the flat, Montgomery. And he takes it for a gain of close to nine. It's perfect balance for that Lion offense. 26 runs, 25 passes. This will make it 26 and 26. And a first down here, David Montgomery takes the pass, picks up about 13. You got two safeties deep, so they're, they're taking away anything downfield. But you love to see the patience. I, I loved what, what Goff told us, rinse and repeat. If they give it to me underneath, i got to just have completions and, and go through that, go through that over and over again. Take the easy throws. And I love the first and ten play action there. Just get your back out there in space in the flat. And it off Montgomery. Another good chunk here. Seven or eight. And into Green Bay territory. Frank Ragnow, the center, along with Jonah Jackson. You want to see perfect technique. Watch 77 right here. The double team, and then you'll see him work up to the second level. 77 gets up right there on that linebacker, Isaiah McDuffie. That is textbook. And now you start to see a big back in Montgomery start to wear on this defense in the second half. The mix of he and Gibbs back and forth. Gibbs got it. Inside the 40 to the 39 yard went in behind Decker and Jonas Jackson And it's fun to watch these guys This time on that left side you see as they come off the ball Climbing up. There's nobody there over the left guard Jonah Jackson. He's easy there to get up to the backer Walker I tell you people will be surprised if you don't know enough yet about Gibbs the rookie. He is a physical runner Off time. Whoa, reaching out, making the grab. Josh Reynolds, great catch. Rudy Ford with the coverage. Diving again, makes it. Again, I can't say enough about Ben Johnson changing his mode of aggressive mindset. Great job by Reynolds. Throw is low and away from the defender. He's able to turn his body, but that's another first and ten play action pass with Packers coming downhill trying to stop that running game and that big offensive line. Ben Johnson one step ahead of him with that play action call. During the field goal, unsportsmanlike conduct number seven in the defense for running forward and jumping over the line. He's more than one yard off the line. The penalty will be enforced. Half the distance to go from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Oh, baby. Wow. I mean, think about wow. that. So the field goal would have made it 30 17. Meanwhile, here it is again. You heard Eck talking about it. Here's the foul on Walker. But you talk about a late flag. The Packer return team had already come out, and the Lions kickoff team was ready to come out. And Terry, you know, it, they, you could see the officials come together. As Al said, it came very late, but they made the right call. It is clearly a foul. It's unsportsmanlike conduct for a player more than a yard to run up and leap across the line, which is exactly what he did on that play. It's 15 yards. In this case, half the distance, an automatic first down. Hands it off and into the end zone. 
goes Montgomery. David Montgomery has carried the ball 26 times for 84 yards tonight. Well, they went, they had three tight ends to the right. They went right behind the right guard, Glasgow, and of course Sewell. Watch Sewell turn his body away from the hole to open that hole up. Actually takes Walker with him, the linebacker, so he takes two, and Glasgow turns his body the other way. It opens that hole just nicely on the right side, and Montgomery easily gets in. Another reason, a lot of Detroit fans. I was going to say, there's a lot of blue. Yeah. And it's a nice night. Love hopping around. And just fires that one away and almost had it picked off. I think Detroit fans are almost thinking this is, this is too good to be true. We're, we're not <laughs> trying to jinx them or anything like that. We're not getting ahead of ourselves, but... There's just a lot to like with this young team, and you start to look at them. It's all about who's going to be able to stay healthy. They're going to have to stay healthy like every team in the NFL, but you look at their schedule and the way it works out these next few weeks. They have Carolina, they're at Tampa, they're at Baltimore, Vegas, Rams, Bears, and they have a bye. There's a legitimate shot. They could get on a little bit of a run. Right, meanwhile, back to action. Second and five. Love. Going to his left, has that picked off at the five-yard line. Jerry Jacobs, and run out of the 18. So second pick tonight, coming with four minutes to go, and pretty much putting a bow on it. Al, sometimes when you have an athletic quarterback that, that can create because of the pressure, sometimes receivers, they start to get used to having to bail and, and having to get off of a route. That's what happens here. He's going to work from the left watch him feel that all of a sudden okay I, I've got to help I got to help my guy out he starts to go into scramble mode and jo love ends up just getting the ball out of his hands because he thinks he's got an opening so he worked from the right back to the left look at him he starts to go hey get me in the corner and the ball's already been released by love for the interception second of his career right there Montgomery padding his numbers boy hard running again here and Montgomery's going to close in on a uh, triple-digit night here. Yeah, you're not going to sneak by anybody. No. No, you beat Kansas City at Arrowhead and go yeah. to Lambeau and win, and you're on everybody's board. Love could not get away. You got Hutchinson getting in there, and then Kaminsky comes in to, to wrap it up. I think Hutchinson thought he had another night with two sacks, came so close, chased him out of the pocket, and... Kaminsky quietly has had a, a good night as well. They move him as an outside guy. When you can win the line of scrimmage on both sides and you got a veteran quarterback and you got a lot of young skill on both sides of this, this football, it's a lot to like. All right, an onside kick, obviously. Coming up here, they're going to need this one and a score and another onside kick and another score. Can it happen? Out of bounds, flags fly, and that, of course, means it is... Lions ball. Lions ready to go to three and one. Montgomery over a hundred to the 31 yard line. He goes. It's 114 ground yards tonight for Montgomery and 20 receiving. Again, he's not going to let up. He's just going to get stronger. Rack now the center. Left guard Jonah Jackson, 77 and 73, double team, very nice. And then he shakes the linebacker Quay Walker. I mean, when you hit him, you better not hit him high. As big as Quay Walker is, he tries to get him up around the shoulder pads. He's too strong, and even though it's in the fourth quarter, and he's at what is it? You say 30, 29 carries coming up on his 30th carry. He's, yeah, he does not slow down. He he just gets stronger. Fourth and three. Goff, complete, hits St. Brown, I'm on St. Brown, and that will put a complete bow on this baby. Now, how, how about Ragnow, who's just a leader up front, yep. kind of directing traffic up there? You guys got seven. You got seven. You got seven. You guys got seven. Just taking command, look back at Goff. He and Goff were on the same page, and 
just a little thing, but I think it tells you a lot about the communication that's going on up front there with him on the, uh, the lead. Yeah. Haven't eaten much from St. Brown. Though. There's a terrific receiver, 5 for 56. Dan Campbell. This team's now on 11 of their last 14. Quick little acknowledgement there amongst the coaches. You buying in? Uh, who am I buying in? Who? I don't know. I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Oh, you're yeah, buying I, into Detroit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I thought you were meant buying into the. Uh, oh, no, that, that, oh that, that, that that fly by that yeah, fly by acknowledge. No. Yeah, I, I got you, man. Yeah. No, I'm buying into Detroit definitely. <laughs> 